Hello, my Pilates friends. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Sammy. I'm a classical Pilates teacher. Before we begin, don't forget to smash the like button and comment and hit the bell so that you get notified of new videos. I am a military spouse. We're about to take a big move from the US overseas. The more that you interact with the channel, the better the channel gets and the more content that I can make for you. So please comment, tell me what video you want next. Okay, that's it. Let's get started. Hello, hello, my lovely Pilates people. It's March Madness day four. And that brings us to the one leg circle. I will also show you the transition from the rollover into the one leg circle because that keeps it flowing. Okay, so let's read what, what Joe was talking about here. Again, you have your pictures and pose one, lie flat with entire body press. I'm not a great reader. Let's try that again. Lie flat with entire body resting on mat or floor. Stretch arms shoulder wide, touching body, palms down straight forward. Bring right leg to upright angle position. Stretch toes pointed forward and downward, left toes upward. So basically that is explaining, you know, the, the foot that's down is flexed and the foot that up is pointed. I want you to think of that foot down is like you're standing. So the one leg circle is like if you were standing on the floor and holding, whoa, balance, and holding your leg up this way. So even though you're lying down, that's what you want to think about so that you don't get confused with what's pointed, what's flexed, okay? Moving on. Begin exhaling slowly at start of downward motion with right leg while making a complete left to right circle in the air over the left thigh, then. Begin inhaling slowly at start of upward motion with right leg in completing this circle. So I did not learn breath on this exercise, nor did I learn it on yesterday's exercise. This is stuff I learned later on in my continuing education career. So breath is important. We want to train the breath, all of that. So you do want to follow this. Also, I truly believe that inhale on the way up keeps you from slouching, okay? The exhale on the way down, when you exhale, you naturally kind of close in those ribs. So the more distal you're getting, you get that exhale. And then the inhale lifts your everything up so you don't slouch. It's just brilliant. He's brilliant. Where was I? Yes, pose three, I hope. Pose three and pose four, he says. Begin inhaling slowly at start of upward motion with left leg while making a complete right to left circle in the air over the right ankle again. So you're reversing. So he's kind of explaining doing it on both sides. All right. That can get kind of confusing when you're like, wait, do I switch legs after each circle? No. Okay. So repeat the foregoing exercises five times with each leg. So you are going five times cross circle around and out circle around, and then you switch legs and you start cross circle around and go out circle around, okay? Then cautions, pose one, toes must be pointed forward and downward, knee locked, right leg. Keep left leg knee locked flat on mat or floor with toes pulled upward and backwards. So that's upward and then back towards, <laughs> backwards, what's behind you. So toes forward and downwards, what's in front of you, upward and backwards, you know, behind you, okay. I don't even know why I felt I needed to explain that. Okay, so then, <laughs> shoulders and head must always remain flat on mat or floor. Your shoulders and your head. So it doesn't necessarily mean that your hip can't lift, okay? Pose two, same as pose one, but note that right hip is raised. So the leg, uh, the, the hip of the working leg can lift. Pose four, same as pose two, but note that the left hip is raised. Swing left and right leg as far as possible when making circles, shoulders, and head must always remain flat on the mat or the floor. Okay, so let's see it and you can try it. So you're lying onto your back. Oh, I wanted to go over the, uh, the transition, almost forgot. Okay, so you're doing your rollover and you just come down with both legs together because that was the reverse. Then you flex the left leg and put it down and you're ready. So that's your transition. Now, when you start doing this, I like to build pelvic stability. And so I'll usually, depending on the person, have them turn that leg out and then work on just keeping the hip still while you move the leg. Now, as time goes on, and also depending on the person, it's parallel, that foot is flexed nice and strong. And then this hip lifts and then it circles around and up. 
and it lifts. Your head and your shoulders don't get to move. Exhale, inhale, up. Exhale, inhale, up. Okay, and that's five. And then the other way, exhale, inhale, up. Exhale, inhale, up. Good. Two more. Exhale down, inhale, up. Exhale down, inhale, up. Now you can either lower that leg and switch, or you can switch in the air. This one will flex as it goes down. This one will point. All right. So then exhale, inhale, up. Exhale, inhale, up. Exhale, inhale, up. Two more. Other way. Exhale, inhale, up. Exhale, inhale, up. Good. I lost count. Hold and then you can lower it down. Modifications, feet hip distance parallel and not too close towards you. So this is for flexibility and you can work pelvic stability this way too and you go knee to knee around and up and you keep it smaller and work on trying to find the stomach to lift your leg. All right, so that was one leg circle. Four. Don't forget to like comment and hit that notification bell. Practice these every single day. Bye.